guys. It's been a minute, right? <laughs> so, um, I have been in some deep training with the Lord and I've been getting a lot of words and dreams and a little downtime. And, um, today I was awakened with a dream that was very serious. And then some words that were very serious and those I cannot even speak about type up nothing. Um, and then I was given another two dreams to reinforce the situation as well as give me a timing um, element. Then I was awakened again with the words that I'm gonna give to you. Now, some of you might think these are a little vague, okay? They're vague because one, we don't want to share with the enemy everything we know. We want to be able to have the people who do have the Holy Spirit to pray, and be like, Lord, if I need to know the specifics, please let me know. And if I do not, then please let me be resting in your confidence and just trust him. Okay. Now, the other thing is, is there's a very heavy weight that comes with knowing because the first two dreams I had gave me a very clear picture of what is coming. And that is a very heavy weight to carry. So it's compassion that the Lord does not give us all very specific elements because you don't need to carry it. All you need to do is trust him through it. Okay, here's the words. And I did feel this was urgent and it has to go out right away. So I got this on 10, 12, 24, around 8 a.m. I warn America. Grief, grief, so much grief, much sadness, grief. America, America, cry out to your maker. Do not be a victim. Hold on to my precepts. Halt your busy life. Get with me and repent. Talk with me. I warn, I warn, America, I warn. What is coming is very woesome. Stop and cry out to me. Hold my hand. I will spare you. Grief. Grief. So much grief. Stop. Listen to me. Align with my word. Get back on the path. I am the Lord God Almighty. I warn. Come to me. Get under my wing. Bring your whole heart. I warn, America. I warn. Stop. Come to me. Cry out to your maker. Repent. Repent now. Time is very short. What is coming is difficult and terrible. Wake up. Get out of your complacency. Stop your compromise. I warn. I warn. Stop. Drop your phone and fall to your knees. Pick up my words. I will save mine full of faith. I warn. I warn. Stop. So much grief. So much grief. Don't be a victim. Run to me and have my hand of protection. Come, America. I am the God of Jacob and Moses and Elijah. Come to me through my only son, Jesus Christ. He is the way, the truth, and the life. He is the only way to me. Be baptized. Walk away from your sins. Stop. Come to me. I love you and want to protect you and provide for you, but you must repent, America, and come to me in humility. Come now, time is up. Man's plans to harm America have begun and will continue. I am the safe place. Come to me, the Lord God Almighty. And I got, this ended around 8.20 a.m., not exactly on the dot or anything. Then I was told to read Psalm 91. He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in Him will I trust. Surely He shall deliver you from the snare of the fowler and the perilous pestilence. He shall cover you with his feathers, and under his wings you shall take refuge. His truth shall be your shield and buckler. 
You shall not be afraid of the terror by night, nor of the arrow that flies by day, nor of the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor of the destruction that lays waste at noonday. A thousand may fall at your side and 10,000 at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. Only with your eyes shall you look and see the reward of the wicked. Because you have made the Lord, who is my refuge, even the Most High, your dwelling place, no evil shall befall you, nor shall any plague come near your dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways. In their hands they shall bear you up lest you dash your foot against a stone. You shall tread upon the lion and the cobra. The young lion and the serpent shall trample underfoot. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore I will deliver him. I will set him on high because he has known my name. He shall call upon me and I will answer him and I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life, I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. So these are kind of serious words. And um, I hope that you take them seriously and that you just get in with the Lord, get under his wing and um, sit with him, pray with him and be prepared because the Lord will protect his own. Okay, so have hope and understand the times. See you next time.